But here we are again. We're going to do another video tour on this uh, this particular model that we just got done uh, building. This is an eight and a half by forty foot uh, gooseneck uh, food concession trailer. It's a barbecue trailer. Uh, first thing that we'll take a look at, we'll take a look at some features here on the outside, and then we'll move inside and kind of take a look and see what's going on in there. Uh, first thing you'll notice uh, is this one has a, a rear, an open air rear porch on the back of it. As you can see, and what we do is we put these big smokers on the back porch and then we build them into the interior wall. And what that does is it allows you to do all your cooking and everything, access it from inside, but then all of your mess from your wood down here in the fire pot, you can take your wood from right here, pitch it into the fire pot, none of this wood mess gets inside your trailer. Really nice, uh, really nice idea that, that also keeps all of the radiant heat that's coming off of these smokers. It keeps that from radiating into the, into the trailer, making it real uncomfortable to work. So that's, uh, that's an open air uh, rear porch option that's on this one. Um, another feature on this one is a triple axle trailer, a 21,000 pound capacity, a triple 7,000 pound axles. Um, it's got an eight foot concession window rather than a, a typical five or six footer that are on most of our models. Um, it gives you a lot more open air space inside, gives you a lot more area um, opened up to your customers if you've got the wall space to put one that big. Um, that's an option that you can do just as well. Uh, we'll go ahead and move around the front and take a look at some of the features out there. So again, here's a look at the, at the uh, gooseneck, the front of the trailer. Um, one of the nice features about our goosenecks is there's tons of storage. You've got an access door on the front here, also on the other side um, of the gooseneck, and then on the front as well. Uh, the front's where we store the generator on this particular unit. We like to do it that way. Um, if you do have a generator, onboard generator that we put on in a gooseneck, um, it really makes a nice, quiet um, addition to the trailer. Puts the generator all the way up in front, as far away from your customers and, and your cooking line as possible. Um, they already are super quiet operation. It just makes them that much more comfortable. Um, another really nice uh, part about these trailers: these are all hydraulic um, landing, and they're 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 power. So basically, you open up this little door. There's two buttons inside here, and each one of those buttons works the landing gear here independently. So if you're sitting somewhere uneven, kind of like here on our lot, um, you can raise and lower and level your trailer with just the landing gear. It's a really, really nice uh, feature, especially on a heavy trailer like this. Just push button up and down. Super easy to connect, super easy to disconnect. So we'll go ahead and uh, take a look at the generator on this one. So here we are on the front side. This is where the generator is at. This is your access door on the front. This is actually a, a big 10,000 watt uh, diesel owning generator. Super quiet uh, operation. Um, does a really, really good job keeping up on uh, supplying power to these bigger units like that. Um, and again, it's all the way up front, so it's quiet, easy to work. Push button start inside. Um, the fuel gauge is actually on the side. The fuel, to, uh, the fuel fill for it. Uh, it's just like just filling up your pickup or whatnot. Just fill the fuel back here. It has an auxiliary fuel pump that feeds pump up to it, and then the onboard pump that's on the generator itself that actually runs the fuel system. So really nice, uh, really, really nice generator on this one. Again, so here we are again on the gooseneck. I wanted to uh, focus in a little bit more on the advantage of having a gooseneck trailer um, if you need a big unit. Uh, one of the major benefits is you have all of the storage that you can see. Again, you can access it from both sides. Um, if you look up front here, this is the actual generator cabinet where, uh, where we've mounted all your generator and your, your, uh, your auto transfer switch and all that kind of stuff here up front. It still leaves you a ton of room up here for dry storage, which of course, if you're working in a mobile unit, is always at a premium. You can access it from the outside, either side. There's also doors that we'll show you on the inside where you can access it from the, the inside as well. Um, but opens up a ton of ton of floor space here if a guy needs a bunch of dry storage. You can even throw a mattress up there if you wanted. Um, it also gives us some area to store all your fire suppression uh, tanks and, and piping and whatnot. So really big benefits to having a gooseneck trailer as well as being that much easier to pull than a bumper trailer on something this long. So we'll go ahead and take a look at some more stuff down the line. So here we are inside the trailer. We're going to take a look at the equipment that this uh, trailer has and, and the options that this particular customer took. Um, right here, um, four well steam table, um, all runs on gas. So you got plenty of uh, plenty of gas on board to be able to run all the equipment. Um, so gas steam table, always an option. You can go one, two, three, four, however many wells you need. We just draw it into the plants for you. Um, these are another really nice um, appliance that uh, if you're doing any kind of huge stock pots, you're trying to be bring big pots of water or soup or beans up to boil, these are stock pot ranges. And what you can do is you can take your big stock pot range, put it on here, and you can see the, the difference in the size of burner on this one than on a typical burner that might be on a range like this. Another thing is you're not lifting those big 20, 30, 40 quart stock pots up and trying to get them on these little burners. Really nice appliances, they work really well for, uh, for that, always an option. Um, this here is five foot range, got a four foot flat top, two open burners, um, double ovens underneath. Imperial's a really great range. Um, three uh, double basket deep fryers on this unit. Um, fire suppression system in the hood. Um, 
does a really good job pulling the heat out. You can see how much higher the headroom, how much headroom I have in this trailer. All the heat's gonna go up to the ceiling and then get removed out by the hoods. It's not gonna sit down at the uh, face, at the, the level of my head and the level of my face. You don't have that 180 degree heat from cooking in here sitting down at your head. It gets pulled out of the hood and it never settles in there where it hits your hood. Uh, again, on the gooseneck on this particular model, this is, uh, these are the doors where you access from inside. So just like you did from the outside, you have all this open storage if you're taking your cart groceries back and forth and you want someone on the outside maybe pushing groceries in you don't want to hand them through the man door or maybe it's busy you can push them up here and then as you need them your plates your your, your dry goods you can store them up here and then pull them in to the trailer as you use them as you run out of stock so that's a really nice feature really you can see how much storage is up there you can also hear how quiet the generator option is we're running on generator power right now again 10,000 watt diesel owning generator Super quiet to work with. I'm not having to yell over it in order to talk to you. Very comfortable to work with. So we'll move around this side. Uh, this is a, an oversized sink option. Um, five sinks, just like in all our trailers. You got your splash guards on each side of your sink. But you notice in this uh, particular unit, we have an oversized uh, dishwashing sink. The current sprayer option, also that uh, we can add to your trailers. You've got all aluminum cabinetry, like always, upper and lower cabinets. Um, so really nice uh, place to be able to clean up at the end of the day. All of your hand wash and dish wash soap dispensers, your, your single use paper towel dispensers, all of it's included in our uh, turnkey models. Um, so this one here is a uh, sheet pan bread rack. If you do any kind of sandwiches or, or hot dog buns, hamburgers, uh, anything that's using bread where you've got a bunch of it that you're trying to store and go through, you don't want to use all of your overhead shelving or not trying to stack up buns and, and bread when you're only going to be able to stack it a couple of items and they're going to end up on your floor. So these are inexpensive. They're nice to be able to draw onto the plant if you're doing any kind of deli or hot dog hamburger kind of a menu. Work really nice. Plenty of workspace, shelving underneath, um, microwave shelves ahead, overhead shelves. Uh, but let's go ahead and take a look at the barbecue on this unit. It's really the star of this particular uh, piece, of, uh, piece of equipment. So again, we showed you the barbecue, it's on the back porch. Um, that's where all your heat's gonna go, that's where all the work's gonna be done, but you can still work it from inside the kitchen. So, swing doors open, you've got full access. This particular um, barbecue has 25 racks, four foot wide by two feet deep. It's a monster. You can cook 180 racks of ribs at one time, four racks on this particular model. Super easy to use. Just come over here to the control panel, you turn your main on, you turn your rack on, and it automatically turns when the doors are closed. As soon as you open the doors, the racks stop. So if you want to access these racks, there's this foot control here on the ground. You just step on the foot control, and it moves these racks so that you can access whichever particular rack you want to get to. Um, if you're uh, coming from your prep kitchen area, you're coming up here, you got this big you know, hotel pan of, of ribs that you're trying to load on here. Another nice feature, pop up shelf. You set your ribs down right here, you can load them on your axe as you go. Really, really, really nice barbecues, all digitally controlled. They're gas um, and wood assisted um, fire. You set them just like an oven, you turn it to 350, that's where you want to cook, or if you want to go low and slow, you set it at 175 and it'll just keep it right there, just purring right along. Really, really nice barbecue, super high volume units, great closures on the doors, which is another nice feature, but really great barbecues. Um, so this is what's, uh, this is a, a, a gooseneck model that you can take a look at, rear porch option. Obviously there's a lot of things that we can do in here. Um, it just depends on what you're looking for. Uh, in your particular area, you let us know what you need, we can build it for you. Give us a call on MSG.com.